So I circled the block a few times yesterday in Roseville, California, hoping to find Adrian Smith of Iron Maiden so I could get his autograph. You may call it a little light stalking. I call it admiration. Smith Cotson is a band comprised of Adrian Smith, who we already know, and Richie Cotson, who was once in Poison, Mr. Big, and is also a prolific solo artist. Here's the CD booklet I was hoping to get Adrian to sign, and I found out something disturbing. For all these years I've been singing my favorite song wrong. I used to sing Soul Understand, but it's actually so. Whoops. You learn something new every day. After taking the rest of the day off from work, I just had nothing to do but wait and wait and wait for Adrian to come out. There's Richie and his wife Julia, who also plays bass in the band, entering the building. There's Richie signing autographs for people. But I never ever did run into Adrian. I also didn't get a guitar pick like I was hoping to, but hey, you win some, you lose some. So I ended up being the first person in line. So I got the best spot. Here's a quick look at Goldfield Trading Post in Roseville, California. My first time attending a show since they reopened it. It actually used to be Sammy Hagar's restaurant. Then it became a sushi restaurant. The first opening band was called Wendell and the Puppets. Wendell and the Puppets. Then the second one was LRC or something like that. And my mom always told me if I don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Here's a look at the set list. It's the same that they've been playing this short tour. And I was happy with that because I really wanted to hear Wasted Years live. And I could sing the lyrics correctly this time. And they kept it the same, so I was really happy. The anticipation was building as they were getting the stage ready for Smith Cotson. Thanks to the guy standing next to me, I found out their guitar tech was named Thomas Nordegg, who's worked with Frank Zappa, Steve Vai, Jimmy Page, Toto, Tears for Fears, Pretenders, and on and on. So he's a veteran. Now it was time for Smith Cotson to take the stage. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to play any music from that night. I don't want to risk getting another copyright strike. Just know that the band was amazing. I knew Adrian Smith was a virtuoso, but I wasn't quite prepared for Richie Kotzen and how awesome he is. He played without a pick and wow. I mean, they're both great players. I knew from watching previous videos from this tour that standing in the middle would be the spot to have because both Adrian and Richie played their solos in the middle for the most part. And so I had a front row seat. Look at that. And yes, it sounds as good as you could imagine. Some People was a definite highlight for me. It's one of my favorite songs on the album. If you haven't had a chance to hear the album yet, do yourself a favor and go get it however you need to, because it is so good. It's bluesy, it's melodic, it's heavy, the lyrics are deep. 
I, I love it. I can't tell you enough how much I love this album. And it was such a treat to see this concert. As far as I know, this was their fourth show ever. They previously played the Whiskey in LA. They played in Vegas, in San Diego. And after Roseville, they're heading to Morro Bay. And then the Ventura Theater. Then they're hopping over to the UK to play seven shows. You guys are in for a treat, trust me. I hope they play more shows around the world because this music definitely needs to be heard. But I'm sure Adrian has some obligations with Iron Maiden, of course. Adrian and I signed all of it, so if you don't have an autographed copy of the record or the CD, make sure you get one on the way out. This is a, a song called Glory Road. The band was tight, as you would imagine it would be. They had a great rhythm section. I was blown away by the drumming. The song I was looking forward to the most besides Wasted Years, of course, was a song called Scars. Now, this is one of the best new songs I've heard in a long time. There's a part during the chorus, there's a guitar part, that just thinking about it gives me goosebumps. It reaches deep down into my soul and just grabs my heart every time I hear it. And they do that guitar part eight times in the song, so it's such a good hook, it's amazing. Some of the lyrics are, Sometimes I feel like a helpless child, alone in the night. Sometimes I feel so far from the light. I'm alone on an endless road, looking for a sign. The crossroad stretches out ahead, but I don't know which way is mine. Here's a quote from Adrian about this project. It's always been our intention to take these songs on the road and give them a good kicking about. We're delighted that we've been able to set up this tour around a very hectic 2022 schedule. We both can't wait to finally get out there and play live. Two more highlights from this night was when Richie played one of his solo songs called You Can't Save Me. It's so good. If you haven't heard it, you need to look it up. He says the F word a lot, so that's pretty cool. And then they went right into Wasted Years, which everybody loves. But yeah, it was a great night of music once the headliners took the stage. And the band looked like they were having fun. There was a lot of energy in the room. I'm so happy I went. It was awesome. So if you're lucky enough to see them on the road, good for you. If not, then hopefully they'll tour again. Who knows? But that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you liked it. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.